Today, I'm gonna to tell you the truth about the hair extension grading system. Now, in reality, we're gonna be talking about human hair, nothing synthetic, okay? So you basically have two types of hair on the market. You have raw hair, so it's 100% raw. This is beautiful hair, okay? And almost as beautiful is virgin Remy hair. And I, and I stutter a little bit because there's so many different names for this type of hair, okay? This hair generally has a little bit of light processing done to it to get it to this state, which we're gonna go over in this video. And as a matter of fact, we're gonna go over a ton of stuff about the hair extension grading system, 6A, 7A, 8A, Brazilian, Peruvian, whatever. So if you have any questions about what I talk about, please leave it in the comments below and I'll get you an honest answer. Now, before I go specifically into some of the grades and some of the names you've heard, let's get a little differentiation between these two types of common bundles that if you're watching this, you're probably interested in and probably wear. Okay, so this is the raw hair. So how this is generally collected is in a ponytail. So it's either done in places like India or Vietnam, Cambodia. They will actually bundle the hair put it into a ponytail, cut it off, and then it stays in the ponytail until it is manufactured into a bundle. Now, when you have virgin hair or a lightly processed hair, uh, it's a little bit different. You have the cuticles going all different ways, and then what they have to do is use a system to realign the cuticles, which has changed over the last decade in the hair industry. So currently, there is a much better technique that they're using. They basically will take all the hair, they bundle it up, and then they put it into a bin of solution, and it's kind of like a conditioner that will soften the hair. And then they have a machine that will actually realign the cuticles of the hair, okay? Because it's really important that you have the cuticles aligned because that's generally what's gonna cause tangling of the hair. So if the cuticle, I'll probably have a little diagram right here. You have a, one cuticle going up and one cuticle going down. Like on raw hair, all the cuticles are going down. You can actually lick your finger and go up on the hair and you can feel it's a little bit coarse. You can actually feel these cuticles. You can't see the cuticles unless you put it under a microscope, but you can definitely feel the cuticles. You're not gonna feel as many on a virgin hair or a processed hair because when they realign the cuticles, it also strips some of them off. So you're losing some of the cuticles, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Not everyone prefers raw hair over the virgin hair because the raw hair, when it gets steamy and really hot outside, this hair will get a little bit, just like real hair, it'll kind of get fluffy and a little bit crazy, where this hair, you're not gonna have as many issues. So it really depends on what you're doing for the hair. So basically, they'll put it through the solution, realign the cuticles, and then weft the hair. Now, if you remember probably about a decade ago, or even short as five years ago, you remember where a lot of the hair smelled really bad. And what they used to do the old way, and some hair companies still do this, I don't know why, um, what they would do is they would take the hair and they would put it in almost like, an, think of an acid bath. And this acid bath would 100% strip the cuticles right off the hair, which was really harsh to the hair. So this would cause a lot of issues as far as the quality because the acid to get rid of those cuticles would also really diminish the quality. Thankfully, with technology and science, not just the, you know, sending someone to the Mars science, nothing too crazy, but they figured out a better way to process the hair. And it's actually really good. I mean, it's almost, almost comparable to raw hair, but not exactly the same. That's why a lot of times you'll see that this hair uh, processed or virgin hair, people will only recommend dyeing it up to a 27. That's because it's had some alterations to it. Whereas when you have raw hair, this can easily be dyed up to 613 blonde or even a 60 platinum if done right with professional products. So that's the main difference between the two types of hair. So let's get into some of these crazy marketing names that are used for these types of bundles. Okay, let's talk about the A grading system. 6A, 7A, 8A, 9A, 10A. It just never ends. It's generally not used for grading 
raw hair is generally for the virgin hair. Now, when I first started Private Label back in 2014, there was 5A was the top tier hair. And it seems like every year they keep adding an A. Today in 2021, I think we're at probably 13A people are trying to market. But in reality, it's really pretty much the same hair back in 2014, the 5A. There is no real standard for the A grading system. So technically, you can just throw as many A's on the hair as you want, and it's really no comparison other than, you know, the real details of the hair, which we're going to go into later in this video. So if you're asking people 6A, 7A, 8A, 10A, you know, what's the difference between your 10A and 12A? Right? So some companies won't be able to really tell you the difference. Now, I'm not a fan of the A grading system. And generally, when I personally am talking to clients, I don't speak in A's. Okay, I speak into more the differences of the manufacturing of the actual bundles. But I can tell you, even at private label on our product pages, we still have an A graded system listed. This is generally because we found a lot of clients won't actually purchase the hair because they don't have the information that's in this video. So if there's not an A graded system, they'll either not purchase or they'll send us a support ticket and say, hey, what grade is this hair? That's pretty much the only reason why we even use the A grading system or speak in A. It's because we can communicate to the consumer in a way that they can somewhat hopefully understand not that it really makes any sense, but they feel more comfortable about the hair they're purchasing. In reality, at Private Label, I can't speak for other hair companies, we just focus on the best quality products at the best price. So that'll be the raw hair is generally more expensive. We have a middle grade hair and a lower grade hair. So the two tiers of the middle and lower are the virgin hair and the top tier is the raw hair. And there's gonna be some specific differences between that middle grade and that lower grade that we're about to go over. Okay, now before I actually go into the main differences, and this actually stands true for both raw and virgin hair, we, we have to cover one more thing. This is the Brazilian, Peruvian, Malaysian, all these different country names. Now, if you're watching this and you think you've worn Brazilian hair before, I can, almost 99.9% .9 guarantee you have not. What did you say? Because very little hair is actually sourced from Brazil and then brought into the US, USA. Okay, so most all hair, the raw hair material, or even that's made into the bundles, whether virgin hair or raw hair, is mostly sourced from India. Now, some other hair is sourced from Burma, China, Mongolia, those are some of the main regions where the actual hair is sourced from. The second tier would probably be Vietnam, Cambodia, and then the third tier would probably be there's some hair that comes out of the Philippines, very little, very little bit out of Indonesia, and some Slavic hair that's in the Russian region or just south of Russia where they source hair from those regions. So for the most part, Brazilian hair, Cambodian, all these names, it's just marketing. It's once again, just like the A system, you know, a Brazilian hair is not necessarily better than this hair. It's just basically what the company decides to call it. But once again, if you don't call hair Brazilian hair or Malaysian hair, in general, clients don't like to buy it because they generally feel more comfortable buying something that's called Brazilian hair, thinking it's better quality. Now, a lot of companies will use Brazilian as kind of like their top virgin hair just call raw hair raw hair and it depends on the origins and then maybe a cheaper hair we'll call this malaysian hair where this hair is not really malaysian it's more malaysian style maybe it doesn't really matter at the end of the day all that's marketing so as long as you understand that that's going to help understand more about what really makes the difference in the quality of the bundles okay so let's go over my top three factors for what makes a bundle's cost higher or lower. So you're gonna have two different segments. You have raw hair and then virgin hair, and these top three factors will work for both of them, really. Okay, so if you have 
this virgin hair, one of the top factors is the short strands that are in the hair. So if you, I compare the two bundles here, if you actually run your hands through it, this one actually has a lot more longer strands. This will feel a little bit thicker at the top and then very quickly will thin out where this one is a little bit uh, more consistent all the way through. That's because this one is a better quality bundle than this one. It's hard to tell just in a video without actually touching it, but that's really the case. Okay, so that's one major, major factor. Okay, the next factor is the actual weight of the bundle. So most bundles are sold around 100 grams. Some companies will, you know, it could be anywhere from 97 to 103. It's not an exact science sometimes. It really depends on the manufacturing facility. But sometimes I've had companies try to pitch me, oh my God, I can get you the best price, this, that, the other. And I weigh the bundle and it's 90 grams. So that's 10% less. And generally the price that they're offering me, even at a very high volume, is about 10% less. So it's the actual weight of the bundle. So you have to really think about how much weight is here. The raw material for this, the longer, the longer strands of hair are more expensive. So that's why it's very important to have long, you know, it's gonna be more expensive, excuse me, that having the longer strands in the bundle is gonna make the bundle cost more. Uh, generally, you're gonna have a little bit better result. You're gonna have less flyaways. You can also do something like this where you can grab the bottom and you can shake it and you can see how many short strands come out. That's a little technique we use just to do a quick check. Um, you know, so that one's gonna have more short strands generally than this one, okay? And then the last factor is fillers. Now, fillers are just an industry problem in general when the raw hair or even raw hair but it's more an issue with the virgin hair there will be sometimes little strand of fillers this is something that is really annoying in the hair industry you know i work really close with manufacturers in china vietnam india you know when the hair is imported my team will say hey we're going to pay extra do not have any fillers in the hair for the most part, we don't have any issues. Every once in a while, we'll notice where they try to sneak them in. And then our team will actually go through the hair, look through it, and try to pick out any fillers. It's a very, very small percentage. But if they try to do that with raw hair, which our raw hair, we usually don't have any uh, types of problems, or most companies shouldn't have problems. If you're going to dye this a 613, you might have a few strands that look a little different and that's the case. Most people honestly aren't even gonna notice it inside of the bundle, but since this video is the truth about hair extension, hair extension marketing and all of that, I gotta let you know. So you probably haven't really noticed, but it sometimes can be the case. At private label, it's never on purpose. Some companies try to get way away with it. You know, we're just so particular about the bundles, so you know we really know what's going on. Uh, so that's definitely the top three factors that's going to make a difference in the price of the bundles. The next topic we have to cover because I see all sorts of fictitious information out there and just misinformation. I mean, people are giving this information and they might think really know or they might not know. I don't know. But let me give you the truth about the wraps around the bundles. Now, I've, I've even had top stylists, big, well-known people say, oh, I don't want this bundle because it's wrapped like this. That's not raw hair. 100% false. All this is done on the manufacturing side and we can make the decisions on. If I want this to be raw hair with a silver, a black, some people say, oh, if it's gold, it's fake hair or something else, I can have it any color I want at the end of the day, right? So the band really doesn't mean anything or have anything to do with the actual quality of the hair. Uh, it's really up to the manufacturer. You know, that's like saying, okay, so this is virgin hair. This is not raw hair. See this bundle here? This is a very beautiful, beautiful bundle. But you see, it's wrapped with a black tag. This is actually a cheaper bundle at private label and it's wrapped the exact same. Now, this is virgin hair, where this is about 45 inch perfect raw hair, but you can see it's wrapped exactly the same because I said I want it wrapped like this. It's really up to 
the client if you're at a certain level where you can actually choose what kind of bands you want. Another example, this is raw hair. This is virgin hair. This is just rubber banded. I said, I don't even want a tag because at the end of the day, if I have a couple body wave bundles, it's very hard just by eye to know which one is gonna be the raw hair and the virgin hair. So if we have returns and other issues, I want them to look different. So I make sure that it just has the rubber bands at the top. Now, this is probably hands down the most expensive bundle probably in the world, okay? This is 70 inches of pure raw hair. It's 600 grams. So we said, wait, this is 600 grams. And I had it wrapped like this, similar to this. This is raw Vietnamese hair. So I had it wrapped the same, but see, you can see this has a gold string and this has a plastic string. It has nothing to do with the quality of the hair. So don't buy into what the wrap is around the hair, whether it's good hair or not. You have to know the real specifics about the actual hair. That is something you definitely needed to know. Now, when we're talking about hair quality, there's a few other things that we need to talk about. Now, if we are using a cheaper hair, we wanna keep to styles that are not real curly like this. Okay, so cheaper hair, you generally could have more issues as far as, you know, tangling with curly, you know, if you're gonna have it in a curly hairstyle. So at Private Label, what we do is our cheaper hair, which is great for quick weaves. If you wanna make an inexpensive wig, maybe you don't have the budget to buy the raw hair, totally get it, this is why we offer it. Okay, so for this type of hair, we keep in straight and body wave because generally straight and body wave bundles, you're gonna have a lot less issues. So if you're gonna buy hair that is in a kinky curly deep wave or any of the other names for all the wave patterns, ocean wave, beach wave, Spanish wave, there's tons of waves out there. You generally wanna use a higher quality product so you have less issues with tangling within the product. Okay, so this is still virgin hair that is steamed into this curl pattern. So basically this hair started like this and then it was steamed into this curl pattern. This is not the natural curl pattern of the hair. Unlike if we get into Indian hair. So this is an Indian curly hair and you can see the curl is a lot different than uh, what you would think of like a kinky curly or a deep wave. Okay, this is the natural curl pattern of this Indian hair, okay? So there's also Indian hair that we have steamed. So these are a raw eye tip. So this is raw hair, cuticles all aligned, and it's actually steamed into this curl pattern. Now, one thing in the market you have to be really care careful about with Indian hair, they're tricking some people. It's not an issue we have at Private Label because of our relationships with the manufacturers. But I do understand right now, a lot of Indian companies and manufacturers, they're probably not gonna tell you this, they're lying. They're taking the straight Indian hair because not all Indian hair is wavy or curly. They're taking the straight Indian hair and they're either steaming it into the wave pattern or they're freezing it into the wave pattern, which generally is not what you're buying when it comes to the raw Indian hair. Because what's so amazing about the raw Indian hair is it's in this curly state already. So it wasn't manufactured that way. So you're gonna have the best results with that curl. It's gonna, if you're gonna straighten it and you wet, wet it, it's gonna snap back right away. It's also gonna lose less of the curl when you color the hair. Because if you color this, or if you color this, because of the, uh, the color is gonna break the integrity, some of the hair, it's gonna lose a lot of the curl pattern fast. So even if you took hair like this and you wanted to color it, you know, you always wanna kind of go a tighter curl up because you know the color is gonna bring it down. You're gonna have less issue with that with this raw Indian hair. When we have blonde Indian hair, it looks just like this, but blonde is absolutely phenomenal. So those are just a few more things that you need to think about with hair. So just a quick recap, don't worry about the A grades, it's really messed up. You really need to go into the specifics of the hair. Is it raw hair? Is it virgin hair? What's the weight? You know, the curl pattern can make the price a little bit more expensive. Those are some of the basic things that you need to talk about with your manufacturer when it comes to getting the different hair extensions. The, the A grading system, it's 2021 now. In 2025, we're probably gonna be at 20A hair. So don't worry about it.
okay? So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions about the hair grading system, about you know, how this is done, please feel free to leave a comment. And of course, if you are interested in the hair business, make sure you subscribe to the Hair Business Channel.